The beginning of the story of one guy who entered the wrong game to relax, something evil is already reaching out to him. At the very start, newcomers are nothing of themselves, they have to constantly run from a crowd of dead people. The three guys are very scared by how many monsters are chasing them. The rotten hand of one of the creatures almost reached the leader of the gang of survivors, so that he already felt the taste of death. But don't underestimate him. The guy easily reacted and fended off the zombie attack. But this did not scare them away. By nature they were very greedy for blood and deadly furious. People could not even imagine before entering the game that it would be so realistic, be it life. The cook ordered his comrade to run away and not fight with them, since the three of them would not kill even half of them. Fortunately, they came across hangars and warehouses where they could hide for the first time. They ran into the nearest warehouse, where a strange corpse lay among garbage and boxes. The players ran here in a hurry, breathing heavily, without thinking about a plan for future actions. The newcomer decided to look at the map to identify the danger. In fact, there are no zombies in the hangar, unlike the streets, but they should not be attracted. Only the trouble is, the hand of the creature that lay behind the rubble began to move strangely. This monster began to load some information. What could this mean? The monsters here should be ordinary NPCs. But be that as it may, he was trembling too strangely for a monster. The rustling sound from him filled the entire warehouse. This noise frightened the newcomers enough that not only the zombies were trembling on the floor. Groaning, the monster rose to its feet and limped, moving them forward to get closer to them. The fat man noticed that the system works terribly, since a second ago it showed that there was no one here and the second one said that the game is terrible, since there are already bugs at its start. Through their eyes, he was very scary. There was literally no pity or mercy in him. Suddenly, a table of his characteristics appeared in front of the zombie. This will be our main character. His name is Martin. Unlike all the players, he differs in that from the start he is dead. He was greatly surprised that he found himself in the game world, so much so that he did not even dare to think that he had entered here. The players began to run towards him, and the system informed him that he must complete the mission. While he does this, he cannot leave the game. Martin was shocked that the game did not allow him to leave until the mission was completed. There is no time to think, since many people are rushing at him who are ready to cut his throat, and he does not even understand what they are doing. As soon as they started beating him, several questions disappeared, but new ones appeared as to why they were attacking him, if everything could be discussed. Under the arch of attacks, all that was heard was the noise of blows to the hero and the voice of the guys who told him to shut up. Suddenly, a sign with the main mission opened before his eyes, which states that he needs to find out the cause of the virus outbreak and destroy it. He panicked when he realized how long this mission would be. He grabbed his head and called technical support. The leader was confused by the fact that low-rank zombies know that they need to protect their heads first. It seemed to Martin that they finally understood him. He was an extraordinary zombie, not like everyone else. In his imagination, everything looked completely different, more precisely. Before their eyes he was a terrible creature, but in his opinion, he was a cutie. Agent 007, nicknamed the monk, remembered and said that their system had not been updated and might not see elite monsters, which is exactly what Martin could be. Punk added that such zombies are called elite for a reason, they have a lot of useful resources, so you need to hit him harder but he thought that he was in pain and shouldn't hit him. That's what's strange, it didn't hurt him at all, he doesn't feel it at all, he doesn't feel anything. The system has opened again, in which three skills are written that do not allow zombies to die until they receive serious wounds to the head, dull the senses and give the ability to bite. It became clear to him that even zombies have their advantages, but you should not sleep during the battle while you are being attacked. He became very angry because of these players, realizing that if he didn't fight back, they would go overboard. He didn't scare them, but they should have run because Martin's scream could attract other zombies. Only now he tried to stop them to talk, but they do not understand the voice of the zombie. Before he could say a word, they locked themselves in the room to hide from him and the others. The system reminded of the danger that the hero has only 50% hunger left. If it drops to 25%, the player will lose control of the body until he catches enough food. He was disappointed that there is a hunger system here, and in the body of a zombie you can lose consciousness. In the statistics, he saw 10 strength points. Zombies are initially so strong, Martin wondered, but he realized that after all, it would be better if he did not become a dead man. 
Although he was not given a choice of activity at all, he referred to the fact that someone had deceived him. Then he began to remember how entire queues lined up for this game to be the first to evaluate it. Martin at that time could only watch at how little speed the gigantic crowd was moving. In fact, he can only watch others play, which means he needs to go from here. The boy was pushed by that suspicious guy who was not a table in the crowd. He was in such a hurry that he didn't even notice the man in front of him. This guy looked like his worst nightmare, with a face with bulging veins hidden under his hood. There was an air of darkness about him. With his gloomy hands he handed over that same game to Martin, shouting for him to take it. He was amazed that the game, for which crowds lined up, was in his hands. As soon as he looked back, the stranger fell through the ground, and there was no trace of him left. A very bad idea came into his head to try out the game. He had already connected a virtual reality helmet. It was no longer so important to him how strange that guy was, since it was free, he could try it. Having put on the helmet, a voice began to hum from it about the virus, which made Martin lose consciousness. After that, he woke up here. How stupid it was to decide to start this game. Now he will have to look for food. Error after error, he opened the door, and behind it stood a couple of hundred zombies, whose roar would wake up a hibernating bear. They all disgusted him since between the teeth of the creatures there were pieces of meat from those newcomers. The fact that he was their relative did not stop them. After all, they should see him as a zombie. But his stupidity did not allow it. If this door is blocked, then he will definitely become a corpse, once and for all. Having drawn conclusions, Martin managed to understand that this is not the place to think. To hit and only to hit, that's the main task. But it's not so simple. If there were three or five zombies here, that's a different matter, but he won't be able to defeat such a crowd. The creatures had a lot of rage. For some reason they were incredibly realistic, the developer did his best. The hero is amazed by the fact that the dead did not attack him, but their half-dead brother in order to eat him. The brother thinks they are too realistic, it scares him and makes him run, his heels sparkling. Nearby there was a supermarket, which, according to all canons, should have a lot of resources during the apocalypse. According to all the rules, zombies will always attack first. It follows that over time there will be fewer and fewer people, and combat effectiveness will increase. As a result, these zombies will starve and begin to eat their own kind. But this is not so important, since now Martin needs 10 experience points to improve. But where can he get them? His start is one of the worst, since the newcomers who happen to be people here can exchange information with each other, and he has to learn everything himself. Just when he thought that he was safe, hunger had passed him. But suddenly the system screams at him at the top of his hunger, you need food. Grabbing his head, he doesn't understand, he ate so much, but there was no effect, what's going on? The system pointed out to him that there was only 30% of hunger left, so he could only satisfy himself with meat. For zombies, hunger is clearly the most dangerous skill, the thirst for blood burns in them when the stomach is empty to 25%, this is how its body reacts to potential food. The game turned out to be too realistic. It annoys him. And besides, he should only find zombies alone. Otherwise it will be too difficult. The standard reaction to hunger. But it's not like that. Foam. Like an epileptic. But there's only one thing in the head. Meat. 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 Trembling, he approached the supermarket warehouse. Where there was just a single zombie who would save him from hunger strike. As soon as that dead man caught his eye, the boy went wild, the wild creature awakened in him. Honor and pride are no longer alien to him. Attacking from behind meant the least expenditure of energy for him. Martin tore a piece of flesh from his shoulder with such greed that it's even scary to imagine the strength of his hunger. Another monster suspected something was wrong, aggression awoke in both of them, and it was unlikely that anyone would stop them. No one will tolerate such dirty tricks from their fellow man. And this is what the zombie does, clinging to Brother Martin's hand with his teeth. He tried to stop the prey, otherwise the creature was caught too quickly. With one blow of his fist, he was unable to throw the zombies far and for a long time. Only his entire hand was covered with fractures. And the monster didn't even feel the blow to the head, and calmly tore out a piece of Martin's rotten meat. What was strange about this battle was that Martin's blow didn't even hurt the monster. But the hero broke his arm. Their characteristics may be different. And so it turned out, his strength level is 150% more powerful than that of his brother. It's not for nothing that he is so difficult to break through. Fortunately, 
he only broke his arm and suffered a couple of bites. We need to come up with something against him. In the meantime, you can only run away from him, since head-on attacks are of no use. And he didn't get the expected chase, he also had to wait for them to catch up with him. Well, from the outside it looks ridiculous, since a monster with such strength has only the first level of agility and lacks speed. With an evil smile on his face, the brother thought, it would be better for that strong man not to blame him for being so slow. After all, Martin just wants meat. And he himself decided to give the prey a feast and for this he prepared something interesting for him. Among the departments, he managed to find kitchen products in which he was waiting for his lunch. The first attack hit the bull's eye. The zombie didn't even have time to understand anything when a kitchen knife pierced his head. Martin then decided to throw the entire kitchen arsenal at the stupid guy, which looks even more than just ridiculous. Like a truly stupid monster, he took all the damage upon himself, and he didn't even have anything to respond to. The strong man did not like this attitude towards himself, so he decided to shout loudly that he was powerful. Only the deaf could not hear this mating call, and there are no such people here. All the monsters already knew where to go. Only one thing comes to mind, how to quickly end this stupid strongman. He didn't even dare to think that a trap of cleaver blades was waiting for him here. With a crash, he fell to the floor, where there were many stationary needles that pierced him. It was not for nothing that the hero found the right moment to take the axe with both hands and cut off the fool's head. For the first time I see that there was fear on the zombie's face. But when his head flew off his shoulders, all the stinging disappeared. From this moment you can breathe a sigh of relief, the enemy has been defeated, food has been obtained, all that remains is to satisfy your annoying hunger. Snatching a piece of meat, Martin examined it, it looked terrible, which he tried to deny in order to eat it. To swallow this, he had to cover his nose and hold his breath. But he had never felt this before, since he felt even warmer when he ate this disgusting piece. What surprised him even more was how quickly the hunger gauge filled which was full to the brim. A crowd of zombies had already moved behind him, drooling at his prey. Martin understands well that they will not allow him to enjoy his food in peace. In honor of this, he rewarded them with his spoils. While the monsters were enjoying the freebie, Brother Zombie ran away from them. Locked in the back room, he could calmly exhale, saying that he was tired and hear the voice of the system, which reminded him of his new skill. Because he ate a member of his own species, it will be easier for him to hunt his own the next time. And it's all because of the new glutton skill, which increases friendly damage by 10%. If he had it earlier, he wouldn't have to work so hard. Absorbing his own also gives him experience points. It follows that he will not have to fight with people, but simply use his brains wisely. While he was trying to rest, a strange noise appeared outside, which did not sound like the sounds of zombies. There were people discussing how nice the supermarket was, few zombies, lots of supplies, perfect for finishing the mission they were almost done with. These people are here for supplies from the supermarket. This cannot be denied in any way. But what scared him so much? Why his heart began to beat so fast, and sweat ran down his face. It's all because of one of the survivors, who was armed with a pistol. It's scary. Can he really be so strong? That soldier behaved very carefully as he always does in enemy territory. There is a scar on his avatar. Could it be that he suffered a serious battle while playing here? Incredibly, behind that passage was his team, whom he ordered to follow the plan and collect resources while he guarded the door. They should meet in ten minutes. One couple of beauties were collecting food, while our Martin devoured them with his eyes. A friend told her sister not to collect high-calorie food. He was annoyed that they could easily eat snacks and all sorts of human food, but give him only stinking zombies. Suddenly the schoolgirl felt the evil gaze of the monster behind the glass, which had been staring at them since their arrival. The girl turned to him, and he was already walking away, as if he was just passing by. The rest of the guys were going to help the soldier with his secret mission so that he could reward them with a pistol, after which they would become incredibly rich, since the weapon was very good. Martin has already imagined how at the initial stage everyone will have pistols, how zombies will survive, those guys should under no circumstances be given it. Suddenly, a woman's scream filled the entire supermarket, the whole team, the soldier himself and Martin heard it. Those schoolgirls who were badly injured by some perverts were screaming. This creature slapped the blonde on the cheek with all its strength so that she would not scream, since if they attracted zombies, 
he would personally give them to feed and run away. He didn't like the blonde's look with which she pierced him. The pervert was preparing a new blow for her. But everything is not so simple. A soldier came to their defense, who says that this asshole does not know the situation outside at all and only knows how to create problems. The others also ran to help, not understanding what they were doing here. The military man gave his word that he would teach them a lesson. When they finished breaking through, the battle could no longer be avoided. The hero, watching them, realized that he could easily defeat them, since only the soldier had a normal weapon. And suddenly Ding Dong, the system announced a new mission, which says that he needs to save those schoolgirls and kill all their ill-wishers. As a reward, he can receive the trust of students. But why does he need it? What does it give? Although if you remember the conversation of those guys, you can understand that they were going to increase the soldier's confidence and get a gun from him. That's the meaning of trust. With such ambitions, Martin rushed to watch the battle of people against zombies who did not let him through. He managed to notice that the people were well spaced out. This made him understand that the soldier here was a born leader. It would be necessary to test their strength and ability. For this reason he decided to push the zombies directly into them. But this did not help him get closer to the soldier. The big man covered his rear and cut off his head with a knife. He was disappointed that these players were quite capable and low-level zombies would have a hard time breaking through them. Each problem requires high-quality solutions. If they are defended by a team, then they can also act as a shield. The main thing is that they do not cause much damage to it. They rushed into battle behind him, not fearing the consequences. If they fight with such enthusiasm, then people will not have a chance to win. The boy reacted to the accelerated pressure. He decided to respond with a kitchen knife. Martin feels that a sharp knife is flying at his comrade's head, which is unlikely to spare him. Even he himself understands that throwing knives and blades is not so safe. The hero picked up all the stones and knives on the fly. The zombies were safe, and he set his example for them. The fat man realized that something was wrong with this monster. He needed to be careful. Compared to the weaklings, Martin looked like a devil with fire in his eyes. With such danger a soldier should prepare the lid for his coffin. The military man saw him as a reasonable zombie, and it follows that he must be attacked first. After he was exposed, they rushed at him with all their weapons. They were supported by stones behind them, but they did not cause damage, but attacks with a sword left weak scratches. The student panicked since this zombie was difficult to kill. His friend tried to calm him down, but it was too late. Still, the desire to kill overcame his rationality, and the boy ran into battle. Martin was still able to get him emotional and he took the bait. Panic overcame him, playing a bad joke on him. The soldier, under pressure from other enemies, told him not to leave the formation, but to return to it. But the naive boy realized that it was already too late when the zombie easily got out of his way. The flight was normal for five minutes. The student fell into the arms of monsters who would have a big lunch today. The enemy minor character was defeated. Two experiences were gained. The zombie brother gave the deceased practical advice so that he would no longer be angry for no reason. The soldier sounds the alarm. The zombies awaken their true powers from the feeling of blood. They should be more careful. The comrade began to panic because the monsters looked too realistic. The fat man asked him to calm down, since they were not real. While they were chatting, the fat man was attacked by a zombie, who tore the axe out of his hands and threw it to the side. The situation was simply terrible. But he came in time and gave a bullet to one, killing the second zombie. He ordered the team not to lose vigilance. Get up if they fall and fight to the end. After all, there was only one cartridge left. After the soldier fired, his equipment ran out. He aimed straight at Martin with such confidence that it was impossible to miss. This would be so if the hero stood still. But everything will not be so simple, even if the dead brother himself was stunned by the shot. His joy knew no bounds. With the help of his brothers, he ensured that the soldier fired all the cartridges at them. But these fools are so greedy that they are ready to swallow the bones of a just-fallen comrade. This disappoints Martin. The military man and his friend decided that this was their chance to catch the scoundrel who sent their comrade to the coffin. Meanwhile, the impudent man himself is hiding among a crowd of bloodthirsty monsters who wanted blood. Everything is exactly according to plan. The main force is concentrated on him. The formation is destroyed, the team fights one at a time. The perfect moment has come to attack and destroy the people. They have no idea who they met. The boy lost his vigilance in time, 
which gave Martin a chance to bite him and earn his rightful experience. Panic attacked him. A virus entered his blood that would make him the same as the ones he killed and hated a second ago. Even the soldier began to feel out of place, since another comrade died at the hands of a reasonable one, and he was just getting close to him. The man doesn't even expect that there is a real nightmare behind him, ready to grab his neck. The fat man does not allow him to bite the military man who just hit him. The reason for such risks is not clear. This irritates Brother Zombie to the core and he, without thinking, throws him into the crowd. A friend justified everything by saying that only one player is needed to complete the mission, and they can easily be reborn. Everything leads to them protecting the soldier. He doesn't have time to react before another hunt is being conducted for his neck. But comrades will not allow friends to stand still with their mouths wide open. They will send them into the teeth of zombies. Once again, Martin was stopped by the man who was sacrificed for the sake of the military man. That collision caused him a lot of damage. It's scary to even imagine how angry he is with them. He finishes off their comrade with such cruelty that he even pierced the trachea so as not to waste much air. The system, at an inconvenient moment, informs him that there is little health left. If it is used up, he will die. He is shocked by each new rule of this stupid game. The soldier was against the fact that they were protecting him. But everyone refused his proposals. The only thing that came into Martin's head was that he should hide. In appearance he was badly wounded, with great heaviness he walked forward, straightening his injured arm. But no one would give him peace for sure, since that same scoundrel came to take revenge for his boss, who died because of him. The blade of the knife was right above his head. He could only look at his death with an innocent face. In his red eyes, like mirrors, the clear reflection of the terrifying blade frightened him with fear. But he didn't want to die here at all, he hadn't done anything bad in his life to stay here. After these thoughts, he grabbed the blade of the machete. He didn't care about all sorts of viruses and tasks related to them. He doesn't need some schoolgirls who haven't done anything good for him. With greater fury, he looked at the neck of the gangster character, which he wanted to pierce through with a knife. He doesn't care about meaningless tasks from the system. His life is important to him. Whether he will complete missions depends on survival. For the gangster, he received one more experience. The system announced that the player had scored enough points. Now he is able to evolve. This replenished his entire health bar. It was impossible to say that he was happy. But I cannot deny this, since he had been waiting for evolution for a very long time. He only has to choose one of the directions, to become very strong or a commander, and both of these look very good. Attention, the system informs that evolution may take some time, during this period the player will be disconnected from the game, which is equivalent to suicide, you need to find a secluded place. All players have balanced characteristics, but this does not count against him, since his strength is several levels higher, you need to take agility. With such high-level agility, he is like a panther from the movie Mowgli, and this begins the mass extermination of players. Agility and speed allowed him to fly between enemies, be it lightning among the clouds. The soldier and his comrades stood with fear on their faces, because they did not understand what needed to be done against Martin. A zombie flies into the guy at gigantic speed. As the soldier reacts, he is in a stupor and cannot say a word. Suddenly he shouted that brother zombie had suddenly become very fast. Ordering the others to run to the side, since he was Martin's target, the military man rushed to the attack. What an intensity of passions. Martin was lucky that the soldier was led by emotions. Now he is at the complete disposal of the hero. The man couldn't escape. The zombie's jaw was rushing towards him at full speed to grab his veins. This happened. The first serious enemy was defeated. His comrades were eliminated. The mission was almost completed. He has nothing else to do here. He doesn't need to take any more risks. He needs to run to the schoolgirls to save them. The girls were already very scared. But as soon as they saw that the monster was rushing right at them, panic filled them to the brim. Saliva dripped from Martin's mouth. The ragged beauties only became more frightened of him. Both of them did not at all expect that this zombie would throw them behind their back and drag them deeper into the supermarket. The braver blonde ordered him to let them go while their brunette souls climbed out. The guy was surprised by the behavior of this zombie, since he was the first to hear that zombies were selective in food. Even the dead themselves were in shock. But they don't care if someone gets carried away with kidnapping schoolgirls. The main thing for a survivor is to survive, and the main thing for a dead man is to kill. Meanwhile, the soldier prayed for salvation, 
While Martin thought that he was quite brave, in any case, they would all be reborn. It's time to find a secluded place and take care of schoolgirls. But you are happy early, he will evolve here, nothing vulgar. Finally, he has thrown off the extra burden, the girls are safe, the mission is completed. Luckily, he can breathe a sigh of relief as he is lucky that no one attacked the beauties while they were screaming. Everyone is alive and well. The zombie comrade runs to the side while the girls are trying to understand that he is doing this weird thing. Now he can safely evolve into a stronger zombie for his life. He is given a choice from two lower races. To become commanders or very strong, but Martin does not understand whether he tried so hard and survived for the sake of such a rank. Damn game, he shouts, let me go free, I want to go home. The girls don't understand the voice of zombies, which is why they are very scared. The system announced that the player should be careful with his choice, since the next branch of development depends on it. The strategist is suitable in military terms, and becoming strong gives him an advantage in combat terms. The choice is difficult, but he settled on the captain. Burning energy filled the closet, and his scream was heard by the entire supermarket. The system reported all the most important things, only Martin reminded it to give him a reward for the mission. The brunette noticed that the zombie suddenly became quiet. She asked her sister if everything was okay. She answered, I know, but we should be careful. After some time they did not move. Everyone under the same window was thinking what to do. Martin almost woke up. A woman's legs appeared between his eyelids and he heard the voice of a brunette asking if they needed to do this. The blonde confirmed her words. Otherwise he will wake up and eat them. Waiting for imminent death is, at the very least, stupid. The girl doubted since he helped them. But it was still alarming that no matter what he did, he remained a zombie. Suddenly he woke up, the girls noticed this. But he was more worried about seeing their characteristics, as well as the trust that was shown in him. He opened the system, and with it he wanted to see many new skills that would give him strength. All his characteristics have been improved. Three skills have opened, scanning. He can see the characteristics of players, the skills of the captain. He can control zombies. The virus is still strong there is a possibility of infecting survivors. And most importantly, the reward for saving those beauties, there must be something interesting here. And so it turned out, he was able to gain rare experience, which he invested in new skills, controlling zombies now lasts 5 seconds, and he also gained trust from schoolgirls. This award was able to please him, as it was impressive, but he will no longer count on such luck. The blonde pointed the club at him so that he would not approach but he tried to tell them that he would not harm them. He will cover them, he says, but they see something completely different, how scary he is, if you look from the outside. This horror frightens them, a terrible voice, also incomprehensible, what a monster. After a short conversation, Martin ran away from the girls. His behavior only raised more questions among the schoolgirls. The blonde told her sister that it was quite dangerous here. Did she blame her for bringing her to such a place? The brunette said that she did everything right. At first glance, the entire floor was calm. There were no enemies here. You could escape. It was quiet in the supermarket because of Martin's new ability, who transferred all the dead on the second floor, the only way he can help them. Suddenly he felt a terrible gaze on him, as if someone dangerous was nearby and they obviously knew about each other. He realized that there was also someone strong on the second floor. The system confirmed his thoughts saying that the zombie brother had entered the territory of another monster lord. Jumping off the wall, he wondered why the threat appeared so suddenly. Were they really meeting after the updates? The system warned that he had independently begun a new mission as an overlord, just as a strong enemy on the floor above the hero could outline his territory. In addition, there is a reward. It depends on the size of the territory. Upon hearing these words, he rushed for profit. The reward greatly motivated him to defeat the guy who had taken over his territory in the supermarket. He realizes that the ruler is a level higher than him, so he should be prepared for anything. Rising to the second floor, he met a crowd of zombies, who sent him several floors higher. This makes it clear that that zombie is much higher in the hierarchy, and does not allow the dead to approach him. It will be impossible to fight such a strong enemy one-on-one. -on -one. Because of this he will have to delay the crowd of zombies here so that the overlord comes down. After this, you should learn the layout of the third floor, where the ruler sits. Martin tries to calm himself down, since he does all this for the sake of reward and survival. But still, 
the body itself instinctively trembles and is afraid of the one who is exerting such pressure on everyone from above. Already on the escalator he smelled a terrible stench. This stench was on the entire floor. It was too realistic. And here he himself, this big guy decided to eat to replenish his reserves of experience. His characteristics should be very scary for the hero, since now he already constitutes a gigantic level of threat, and his trust is negative. The fat man views his brother zombie as an enemy. He finally took a break from eating. With his nose pinched, the young man was very scared. The monster almost finished eating his brother, but his meal was interrupted by a zombie who dared to come up here. The characteristics were terrifying. The strength was two and a half times greater than Martin, but the agility was slightly less. With one roar, he created a strong current of air that blew away concrete shelters. The overlord began chasing the zombie, who cannot understand whether his agility is lower, since he has no speed. The corridor would soon end. The sign symbolized to him that he needed to come up with something. Fortunately, he managed to react and grab the sign so that the overlord crashed into the wall. It was very close, a little more and all that would have been left of him would have been a wet spot. What is already frightening is that he is able to communicate. Because while the big man was running he was talking about Martin, that he is food. But all this is not so important. There are signs of intelligence, which means you need to finish him off quickly in order to collect the reward. The monster does not have time to react to a sudden attack from behind, but he may not be in harm's way. This creature was too strong, even with a knife it could not cut through its skin, but the enemies came. The fat man did not want to watch and endure, just one attack to send another overlord flying, and an ordinary zombie to another world. But the brother is already on the verge, this blow threw him back quite strongly, the power of the monster is impressive. It is unlikely that you will be able to fight him head on since he is stronger in strength than the hero is superior in dexterity. It's worth wondering if he can use the captain's power to stop the monster. The first order went well, he told him to stop and it worked. The big guy listened to Martin. He did not stand on ceremony with him, since the command would only act on him for five seconds. You need to immediately run away from him, as he will no longer tolerate attacks on himself. The hero quickly went down the escalator, while the crowd of dead stood in the same place. It only occurred to him to detain the creature with the help of other monsters, who became a human shield. The fat man is already very close. The hero shouldn't have disturbed his peace. Now he'll have to pay. An ordinary zombie doesn't even have a chance to respond to the overlord with his tiny strength. He tore that guy into pieces. Otherwise they didn't know who they got in touch with when they went to the young man's order. After beheading him, he threw it at other enemies who were also preparing to attack. The show of force had no effect on the other zombies. They were not afraid and rushed into battle. The time has come for Martin to attack. Thanks to his brothers, he can win the second battle. Then he galloped over the heads of the creatures to attack the leader while he was busy with others. Finally, the attacks began to bear some fruit, but almost no damage was done to the body. The new bite ability only works on the torso, not on the limbs, but it still has a chance. The zombies began to devour the fat man but they were flying up to the supermarket in helicopters. The hero hasn't noticed anyone yet, so he thinks that that overlord is capable of talking. Of course Martin's intelligence is higher than that of others, but how could he talk? His thoughts were interrupted by the light from those helicopters that came here for some reason. No one will give him a rest. The system reported that an event, an army, will begin within 48 hours. Their arrival is due to a special task, the hero is not very happy about their arrival in such numbers. But the system also warned him that he could interfere with their mission, which would give him some clues in his main mission, giving him a reason to help the soldiers. Another new mission, you need to get into the hospital and save the unknown doctor. As a reward he will receive the same tips. He believes that the tasks associated with the hospital, doctor and army will not be easy, but the system never ceases to amaze, as it reports increased zombie activity at night. While he was thinking about everything in the world, the zombie boss woke up to finish him off. He did not have time to react and the monster bit off a piece of rotten meat from him. Once again he decided to use the captain's ability to stop the big man. This time he decided to defend himself with the guys who had long surrounded the bloodthirsty monster. A terrible situation, since even Martin himself blames himself for being wounded. It was necessary to treat the wounds, for this reason he arrived on the first floor at the pharmacy. Right here was everything he needed to heal, but his stamina suffered greatly. Due to his endurance, 
he will not be able to use the captain's strength for some time, and the fat man will become as ferocious as possible at night. Ordinary zombies will be afraid of him. After all, he decided to make an incendiary mixture that he would feed to the fat man. This corridor was ideal for an attack, since the enemy would not be able to turn anywhere and would perish under fire and hell. And here is our asshole, he's hooked. All that's left is to lure him closer and deliver the final blow. The fat man, as soon as he noticed his main enemy, immediately attacked him. He understood that he still had a lot of health. But he was not at all lucky that he met with a more intelligent individual who knows what to do with such monsters. With bestial fury, the hero flew over the flaming monster to take its life. No pity, mercy or sympathy, our brother is the personification of animal cruelty in unwritten books. After long, fierce battles, anyone would be tired to death. Martin is no exception. The system reported that after killing the overlord, the hero takes the entire territory for himself and it also gave him several improvements. Then a strange power filled him, like a blessing that sent goose bumps down his spine. The only pity is that this power is given to him only in the supermarket. Event after event, as soon as he turns away, the game gives him an army that breaks into his territory. According to their loud statements, the clearing of zombies has begun. With so many fighters, there will be nothing left of the monsters here. The rank and file immediately lost their heads from a couple of lead bullets. The military did not allow them passage. He could not understand why the soldiers had just entered and how they had broken free, or whether it was the influence of the ruler. There are also so many of them. They come here as if they were coming into their own home, armed from head to toe. A large number of armored vehicles and weapons entered the supermarket, which just a second ago was zombie territory. This all led to one thing. They decided to set up a base here, which was good for Martin. Everything around was covered in the thick dark blood of zombies. They couldn't even get close to them. They immediately received a bullet in the forehead. Then they installed generators, lights, fenced the area and set up a whole base. He also felt sad that he had just occupied the territory here and then his door was knocked down. As it turned out, the ruler was not the last danger. The soldiers connected generators with light. The headquarters was almost completely equipped for life. The comrade reported to the captain that there was not a soul in the supermarket. Everything was clean. This was an ideal place for them, since it was very close to their goal. The captain instructed him to send a couple of scouts who would scout the area near the target and report to the surviving townspeople that it was safe here, they could come here. And again the system says the player has already begun to decompose, he understands that he should run away, otherwise he will die without a fight. Finally. He decided to scan the soldiers to find out how he could escape from here. He took a liking to this lonely guy who looked nothing like a regular NPC. What is even more incomprehensible is why he cleanses the corpses, pretending that he is not doing this at all. Martin analyzed his behavior and came to the conclusion that this was a real player. Since he is so interested in collecting equipment, he will definitely check the warehouses. He needs camouflage. Ideally, the face is hidden. The hero himself likes the outfit like a real zombie in a mask and glasses. One thing is noteworthy, this boy behaves like this, whether he is pretending among NPCs that he is normal. But his brother saw through him long ago. But he did not expect his exposure, so he was attacked by our young man. Soldier Cole, as he was called in the descriptions, was very scared, and Martin was very glad that he could finally communicate with a person. In a notebook, he wrote down for him that he must unquestioningly answer his questions. And if he tries to shout or call his comrades, then he will leave only a wet spot, and will also take away all the loot. He had no choice but to agree with his proposal. On the page, the young zombie wrote how Cole managed to choose such a status as a soldier. In fact, he was lucky to become a second-class soldier. The second question was what his current mission was. It coincided with Martin's mission, so they were on the same path. The boy opened a system window in which he had the choice to cooperate with the stranger or kill him. This was his first time. He smiled and replied, Brother, we can become friends after we play enough, so I don't see the point in competition, because they are all players, and he can already talk. He was suitable for Martin, since he was a good guy. But he needed to escape. For this he asked him for help, he agreed. But the thought appeared in his head that the stranger's profession was at odds with the army. Cole told him to watch what happens now. The main thing is not to lose the right moment. The soldiers were sitting calmly and talking, when suddenly an ally ran up and said that something serious had happened on the second floor. 
It looks like this guy is an honest person, he is lucky, so we need to think about their cooperation. The floor was clean. Martin could calmly run past the crowd and thank the player. There are only five experience points left to start evolution, enough for a couple of zombies. Those soldiers cleaned up well. All that was left of the zombies were soulless corpses. But he must not hesitate, because every hour his body becomes numb, and a little more and cadaverous spots will appear. A sudden feeling came over him that shocked Martin. He realized that there must be an elite zombie nearby. There is a strong power emanating from this residential building, he is definitely there. But is it really good? The second overlord owns this building. It certainly won't be easy for him. And he doesn't really want to challenge two bosses in half a day. To be it or not, he cannot be languished for a long time, since the degree of decomposition slows down his movements. While there are no other zombies here, he should take the opportunity to decapitate the elite zombie. Floor after floor, the atmosphere only became more depressing, and the piles of bones and skulls depressed it. The bones themselves have been lying here for a long time, the corpses have decomposed and there were a lot of them. What a strength this enemy is. More new skulls, more new victims and more deaths. Blood smells from here a kilometer away. A roar appeared in the next room and filled the entire apartment building. What a strange creature, that fat man doesn't even look close to him. At least he didn't have thorns. He was all covered with spikes of bones, his strength may be even greater than that of the previous overlord. The system window showed that from the bony to race, his danger is average. Apparently he is not that strong. But don't underestimate him. He immediately attacked Martin as soon as he saw him on his territory. It's fast, but not fast enough to compare with Fatty. You still have to be careful. The hero decided to immediately test its strength with the first attack on it. But everything is not so simple. The knife shattered into particles when it collided with him. Comparing it with a fat man, you realize that he is stronger and also covered with thorns, you hit him, and you receive the damage. Suddenly, the spiked one decided to use his ability, which greatly increased the damage and durability of the spiked skin. This horrified the young man, since he had never seen anything like this before, the skin was like a steel shield with spikes. The brother did not have time to move away when a new wave of attacks from the monster rushed towards him. The cutting blows caused significant damage throughout his entire body, and besides, he was rotting all over, and the space in the room runs out, he is at a dead end, he has nowhere to go, just hope for luck. But you shouldn't expect pity from the stupid monster, he is already fully prepared to plunge the largest spike into his head. Our young man has long said that missions are not important to him here, only his own survival at any cost, so he will resist. So and so, he could not completely escape from the strong blow of the bone, and it pierced him in the shoulder. His health was on the brink just a little bit, and he would die right here. Something had to be done. Something incredible came into his head. It was not without reason that he grabbed the monster by the thorns and pulled him towards him. Incredibly, he threw himself out the window after all his words. The monster could not even imagine such a thing. Using this method, he decided to check which of them was tenacious, he or the bony one. It won't give in so easily. It can also lengthen its spines throughout its body. But you shouldn't underestimate the hero since the bone one is not the first overlord on his account. At that moment he decided to take the monster with him to the grave, either he or him. Let's see who is stronger, the skeleton or the concrete. For the ruler, this will be the last frame he sees. Now he cannot escape death. Two monsters fell from a great height. Anyone in their place would have thrown back their flippers. It's worth seeing what happened to them. After the skeleton, the organs are simply soft-boiled, this is how someone who falls from a high rise should feel. His health has almost completely left him. He does not understand why the system does not request an update, so he will let go of his spirit. It can't be that the monster survived. Why weren't legitimate experience points given to him? Why is he still so wounded? He had never been so happy to hear such nice words from the system. All his health was restored, and the system reminded him that he could evolve, and he also had a new branch of progress. Due to the fact that he killed the Bone Eater, you can choose a new race, or increase the captain's characteristics. This monster has obvious advantages, great strength and endurance, but if it meets a strong opponent or firearm, it will not be easy. If you look at past battles from the outside, the captain looks like a priority, since he has more chances to win in battles. Evolution will begin in 10 minutes, he should find a secluded place to be safe, but he has no time for that. 
since the bony one may have something interesting. The corpse had a diary in his kimono pocket in which he wrote down his life in the hospital as a patient. It all started when three people with schizophrenia arrived in the wards and bit when they were hostile. The ruler himself was also bitten. On the second day he began to see people in different poses. He thought that he was infected. On the third day the news about a new virus thundered in the news. The patient became completely infected. After reading the diary, the system notified him that the mission patient was 5% completed. Each hint makes the task easier. If everything is so, then tomorrow he will complete the mission in a matter of minutes. In general, he is lucky that such rewards come across. Because of such news, he realized that there might be stronger overlord patients in the hospital. So it was better to level up the strengths and go head to head. With this opinion, he chose to upgrade his agility and invested all 10 experience points there. He felt a strong blow to his heart. The system window notified him that the process of evolution had begun. A painful shock overtook him. His mind became cloudy, and the noise in his head only became stronger. It was as if he had plunged into a cold pool, and his legs had become concrete, pumping him full of the most powerful sedatives. A strange silhouette began to approach him, some kind of blue energy. He only had a couple of moments to wonder who it was, and then he fell asleep. When Martin woke up, it was day outside, the radiant sun said that the end of the world had not come. This time the evolution took too long, after which morning had already come. The level, unfortunately, remained the same low, but the characteristics became impressive. A new skill has also appeared, the scent of a predator. The game actually hints that the hero is becoming a zombie. This makes him terribly angry. There is no time to stay here and wait for everything to be handed to him on a silver platter. And time was already running out, since the arrows pointed to six in the morning, and that group of NPCs was supposed to move out soon. But his determination to move on was thwarted by a vile hunger that made him reach for the bony one. By replenishing his hunger gauge, he hoped that he would be able to get used to it. By morning, the commander gathered the soldiers in one place and began counting. Cole entered the game just in time. But he was surprised that the hero was not nearby. He looked for him but could not understand why he was not with them if he had recently wanted to cooperate. The captain reported that all ten vanguard fighters were in place. From now on they could move to the intended point. For what purpose is he hiding? If ordinary players can see him anyway, maybe Cole has some abilities. Following them, Brother Zombie waits for them to clear the way for him for the mission. The soldier is haunted by the fact that his friend is going to cooperate at such a distance. His behavior is still not clear. If the opportunity presents itself in the hospital, he will ask. But something was more important than some thoughts. The hospital was more like a haunted house. Maybe something very scary was hiding there. Cole was shocked by a sudden notification from the system, saying that they were in a dangerous area of the hospital and they should protect themselves. Coward was out of order, but Martin told him to be quick, realizing that he had also received a message that scared him. But he should not have cared about them since he wanted to make a shield out of them, and their paths would diverge faster. There is nothing good here in the fact that the system reports extreme danger, since it has never failed yet, which means there are significantly dangerous types in the hospital. A monster that suddenly attacks is no obstacle to experienced military personnel who will turn its head into mush. Martin does not stop reasoning and is already thinking that in such a dangerous place it is just an ordinary zombie. Something is wrong here. Cole thought the same thing, he could not understand where the strongest zombies were that created such pressure. Using his natural intuition, he decided to scout out those who might be hiding in the buildings. The trouble is, there are a lot of them. It feels like thousands of monsters are gnawing at your soul. The coward was frightened by such visions. The captain shouted at him to return to duty. But his brain did not allow him to stop, as someone was coming towards them. The guys didn't know at all what their comrade had in mind when he started to run away from the ranks. Suddenly, zombies began to attack them from the rear in gigantic numbers. The captain ordered the military to open fire on the creatures while they were only increasing their pressure. There are too many of them, even for Martin, but it doesn't scare him as much as our coal. The trouble is, there were monsters behind them too, who literally surrounded them. Soldiers work on both fronts, shooting at walking corpses to avoid losing their lives. After thinking it over, the brother realized that he would need these NPCs in the hospital so he shouldn't let them die here. For this reason, he slipped past the ranks of the military. Only his friend Cole noticed him. 
He tried with all his might to attract attention in order to hide them in a secluded place. The detachment suffered losses of two soldiers. Cole asked the commander to be faster. He told them to enter the room, and he would cover them. With ammunition, they are able to turn the dead into a sieve. But once the ammunition runs out, the whole group is finished. In a notebook, he described the building to them, which was completely safe, and also ordered them to sit here and keep their heads down, otherwise they would regret it. They wanted to stop him, but did not understand at all that it was they who should take care of their survival here, since they could still be useful in the hospital. Here he will not allow them to die, that's why he cares so much for their lives. Even so, they continued to defend themselves and shoot back from enemies who clearly outnumbered them. There was no more time, a little more and only lifeless corpses will remain from them. We need to retreat. It was the perfect time for Martin to take off his mask, knowing that no one should see him like that. During the battle, he no longer cared that someone from the military vanguard would see him. He decided to use the commander's skill to direct this entire gigantic crowd in the other direction. It's great if the military sits quietly in a secluded place, then the zombies are unlikely to be able to find them while he uses the captain's skill. Be that as it may, this ability took too much of the hero's stamina. In fact, he can control 800 enemies of the same type, but here there are at least a thousand of them. For this reason, all the stamina has evaporated. Fortunately, three seconds was enough and the zombies lost their goal here in search of soldiers but it's still worth finding a secluded place for the sake of recovery. When suddenly he felt a terrible pressure that was coming from a clearly not weak object, which also knew about Martin. Another mutant struck Brother Zombie, as he came out of nowhere, and on another level with him. It is worth understanding that he is unlikely to do even a little harm to the captain, so you should not be afraid of him. Sticking out of his vest pocket was an inspection report about a recent hospital visit. Fortunately, his agility allows him to take part in battle. For this reason, he does not lose this opportunity. His speed is terribly low. Brother Zombie doesn't even know how he's going to defeat him. He did not intend to continue fighting with him. He managed to snatch the piece of paper. But for some reason, he does not run after it. He still looks at him with such a face. Since he is a mutant from the hospital, he simply cannot be ordinary. This is probably the reason for this behavior, although it is not so important. The report was written by a certain Sasha, who is located on the fifth floor of the hospital in the outpatient building. The system reported that this is the character's next goal. Great, he has information on which floor he needs, and his problems have become significantly less. A sudden feeling of emptiness in his stomach made itself known as to what had happened. Just recently he had been replenishing his hunger. Saturation reached 27%, although in the morning he ate a zombie when his hunger dropped so much. That mutant was definitely involved in this. It was not for nothing that his statistics said that he was a bottomless throat. Although this does not matter, since the hero is losing control. Saturation reached zero. Martin completely lost his mind and rushed after those soldiers. They began to thank him for saving him. But the trouble was, their real savior did not hear anything. Instinct forced him to attack the helpless guys who had no idea who their enemy was. This scream could have been heard for the last time from the lips of those guys who hid too poorly. Finally, he began to wake up, his mind became clearer, and this picture of the dismembered corpses of soldiers opened before him. And in his hands lies their flesh, the system reports that the character has eaten human flesh for the first time in his survival. Many skills derived from gluttony have been significantly enhanced. The information he received made his head go blank, and a feeling of disgust appeared in his throat. Hitting his head against the wall, he justified his action, since this was just a game. In real life he would never do something like this. Every minute sets new colors in the game, because after a minute his blood cells became much faster and carried a lot of oxygen to the brain. As immoral as it was, Martin recognized that human flesh brought him true satisfaction. At this time, he should not waste time blaming himself. He needs to think about how not to do the same thing again. And here is the update to the gluttony skill, the character gets the ability to copy the ability within 10 minutes from the creature that he eats. The system again reported the missing strength. Brother Zombie did not expect that the copying skill would take so much strength, but it was worth it. So they met, the boy hated him most of all because he forced him to eat a man. For this reason the bottomless throat will die here and now. This time his song was definitely sung, thorns came out of the hero's hands and tore the sleeve of his cape.
The fat man was not going to stand and be silent. He had something in mind and never wanted to get out of the crowd. But the mutant should not underestimate him, since many monsters have already paid for this. He activated a certain ability, which he used on one ordinary zombie. The ability is revealed, the bottomless throat is capable of causing an incredible feeling of hunger in monsters, thereby making them aggressive. The crowd of monsters followed the mutant's lead, they ran with drool hanging in the student's mouth. He was pretty infuriated by the monster's third-rate tricks, and the zombies themselves didn't think at all before attacking, and he allowed them to bite him. Only for such a stupid attack will you have to pay with your head, which flew off from the new ability. Attacks from behind are also not a problem for the captain, so you shouldn't risk it. The fat man definitely has intelligence. It's not for nothing that he likes to force zombies to play his game. The character wastes no time, he only needs a moment to fly into the air and deliver the final attack. The theory about the mind of this mutant is correct. Unlike everyone else, he understands that he needs to protect his head. This amazed the hero. But earlier this could have brought any difficulties. But with the current power of gluttony, breaking through this defense is like breaking glass. That's right, the attack left only his torso. It's unlikely he'll be able to get to his feet. Finally, the battle is over. Martin spectacularly leaves here biting the flesh of the mutant. By that time, the stranger had returned to the soldier's temporary shelter. Cole told his comrades that it was not a zombie. The boy was incredibly glad that his friend had returned, and his comrades wanted to find out who this stranger was. Martin told them that they could ask Cole all their questions. The soldier was amazed. He was immediately bombarded with questions, since he knew him better than anyone, and he did not understand why the NPCs here were so realistic. By that time, the student is tormented by what he did to those guys he ate, and the coward wanted to know why he was hurting himself. His only wish was that he did not want to become a zombie like those creatures behind the doors of the shelter. Only Cole tried to find a common language with him in order to get to know him better. He talked about everything that was written in the statistics. Besides, in real life he loves extreme sports. In his notebook, he wrote that he was a student and that everything was fine with him and also asked why he trusted him in the supermarket. He laughed at this question and told a funny story about the skill of intuition, which saved his life more than once. That time his instinct told him to trust. Something else tormented him, all because Cole is a very kind guy and will he continue to cooperate with him if he finds out who he is. For this reason, he decided to tell him now that he was a zombie. But his hand behaved too strangely. He himself did not understand what was happening. His hand begins to shake when he begins to write the word zombie. Incredibly, the game does not allow him to talk about the fact that he is a zombie. It literally washes his messages and the coward does not see them. In fact, Martin doesn't yet realize that he won't be able to tell him who he is. Over and over again he asked what he saw, but the boy saw only the word I, and then some scribbles. So the truth came to his mind. The game does not allow him to reveal his identity as soon as he writes that he is a zombie. Then he wrote that he was stupid. The boy was surprised by how badly the hero treated himself. For the first time he saw a player with such self-criticism. This irritates him terribly, that the desire to throw the damn notebook overpowered him, since the game on the go creates rules for him. He had nothing to lose, which is why he wanted to take off his mask. Cole misunderstood everything and thought that he was undressing for him. Immediately, a terrible pain enveloped him. Whether it was lightning or ball lightning, it didn't matter. At this rate he would lose consciousness. Now everything is definitely clear. There is someone who does not want the hero to take off his masks at all. And it is he who sets the rules here. After the fall, he only woke up in some strange place, with red threads all around him. He did not understand where he was when he was and why he was there, for what purpose he was thrown here. Those threads are covered with mouths and each of them says, you can't talk, you can't talk. They didn't scare him at all. He was terribly infuriated by the fact that he wanted to do something, but some game wouldn't allow him. But who was she? Something appeared here. It laughed at him. It's definitely not here to answer questions. Let's call it a creature. The creature came closer and closer to the bound Martin and laughed like the devil in the temple. The cruelty of the creature is amazing. With one blow he decided to pierce the hero's chest. The hand, like a knife through butter, went into the very depths of the chest, as if it were straight reaching for the heart. It created even more questions for him. 
but he tried to understand what the creature was going to do with his heart. And here is the answer, squeezing it. The creature gave the boy a lot of pleasure that his blood ran cold. This was the first warning, just a warning, if he tried to do something like this again, it would be even worse. He woke up from shock, in his hands was a note from Cole that he definitely needed to read. He reported that he had a certain task at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and had to leave, and he told the military that Martin was a retired Special Forces soldier. He would be very happy to be a dumb retired Special Forces soldier, but he is just a zombie with a stupid body. It's already raining outside, and the zombies are standing without umbrellas, as if they will freeze, although they have not been warm for a long time. After a while, a fighter approached his brother and asked whether the elder would go with them on a mission or leave on his own. The nickname Senior greatly surprised him. Oh yes, he is now a mute retired Special Forces soldier. He told them that he would return with them along the old road. The soldier was glad and said that they were already waiting for him from below. People looked at him with great suspicion. Only the same guy told him that they were good guys. The commander decided to be the first to put forward his proposal. If the stranger was going to cooperate with them, then he would have to obey his orders, and also handed over a photo of some beauty in a medical gown. The girl's name was Sasha. They would look for her in that hospital. Martin recognized her because she was mentioned in the task. Then he handed out the same countdown from the bottomless throat that their target was on the fifth floor of the hospital. How could they cooperate and exchange tips? For his help, the system rewarded him with trust from the commander, who was grateful for such help from a stranger. In addition, he was asked what the retired Special Forces soldier had previously done best. His characteristics appeared above the machine gun, which stated that he needed to have the slightest shooting skills, but how, he was just a zombie. On paper, he explained to them that he was fond of hand-to-hand -hand combat, so ordinary grenades would be enough for him. The commander did not care, since their regulations state that everyone must be armed with a firearm. They were running out of time. Zombies could smell human flesh a kilometer away, so the military needed to do something. It was pouring rain outside, due to which the zombies were more aggressive, since the noise of the water prevented them from hearing and was terribly annoying. The comrade informed everyone that they would not be able to get through here. For this reason they would have to go up to the second floor. From the roof there was an excellent view of everything that was happening on the street. But that didn't make it any easier. Martin didn't even dare to think that there would be so many bottomless throats. Mutants filled the street, and the captain's skill could not cope with the hunger of the zombies. The commander decided that it was worth finding planks in the shelter and making a ladder to the facade of another building. After a while, they built a simple structure that could hold several people. The fighter said that the first one in the ranks should spread the cloth evenly so that the zombies would not notice them. The brother guessed for what purpose the soldiers were spreading the cloth. They were not at all visible from below. Heavy rain also masks their smells well and dulls the zombies' hearing, so that the aroma of people and their voices are not heard by the dead. When everyone had climbed up, the commander ordered his comrade to watch the ladder and the rest to begin building a new one. Suddenly, the fighter saw a broken door, which was broken from the inside. Something was definitely not clean here. Shots were heard at the entrance to the facade, which attracted all the zombies on the street and scared the entire vanguard. That same fighter was shooting back at someone. They made their way to the top. Their comrades did not understand anything. In fact, the rotten hands of zombies, who seemed to know in advance that they were here, had almost reached the military man. Still, they didn't have time to save his brother. The monsters dragged him to them and will soon devour him. Only the bones will remain. It's not calm on the street either, the monsters heard poorly, but not so much as not to notice such a cry for help. They needed to protect themselves from one crowd, when suddenly a new wave was approaching. The fighter understood that everything was hopeless, so he decided to let the brothers fire at him to stop the creatures. The monster's head burst like a soap bubble, blood, brains and remains of the skull scattered in all directions. The guy is clearly no longer a tenant, but at first he will be able to fight back and help his comrades. He has no choice but to fire at the crowd of monsters who are eager for living flesh. They need to do something quickly, as the rain may subside and the smell of blood will quickly spread throughout the area. Suddenly he noticed how zombies were climbing onto their facade, as they had guessed before. Martin instantly reacted to this and decided to shout something to his comrades, but not a word from him was clear. Only a second later he realized that he couldn't talk to them, 
the guys didn't understand a word, but his comrades already felt the cold breath of the monster, which was reaching out to him with its teeth. But the hero is not so slow as to let his friends die so quickly. He couldn't afford it. Zombies wouldn't be able to attack from behind, no matter how much they wanted to. The second's head fell off as quickly as his comrade, who should already be dead. The military were amazed at its speed and scared that the monsters were so hungry that they were already climbing the walls. The captain was very angry, because he did not understand what the fighters were doing, that the zombies were making such noise. But as soon as he looked down, and below, a large-scale attack on the roof by a bunch of zombies lined up on the mountain is already in full swing. The commander instantly decided to have one stay here, while the rest went down the stairs and no camouflage. That same hero, his name was Luke, his condition was deteriorating, but he agreed to stay here to protect the corridor while it was clear. The captain made it clear with his eyes how he felt. He felt Luke's courage in full and didn't say a word to him. With his head bowed, he gave the order that everyone should return, and he would remain with his comrade. Martin understands that the wound is rotting very quickly. The wounded man will not survive long. The soldiers descended back to the temporary shelter, while the three on the roof remained for protection. The captain told Luke and Martin to hurry up, and the wounded man said that our eldest could go, he would cover. That's all they call him senior, but they don't understand at all what a mountain of responsibility this nickname brings. How senior he is if he leaves him here. Just a couple of seconds, and they returned to the roof, where their comrades were waiting for them. The rest could not understand how such a thing was possible for an ordinary person, but it shouldn't matter to them how he does it. The important thing is that they need to save themselves, and not stand there with their mouths open. The commander led everyone down so that everyone was ready to run out without shooting, since the monsters would eat them. Luke thanked Martin for his help, but he could handle the rest himself. The hero didn't understand anything. Putting his hand to his temple, the wounded man said that he was going to stay here and conduct a defense while he was still conscious. Perhaps a stingy man's to roll down his cheeks, but the pouring rain masked it well. But there is no denying that the guy has long been ready to protect all his comrades, even if he is an NPC. I really feel sorry for him. The captain reported to him that everyone must obey orders, and he must remain here while everyone evacuated. Private Luke accepted the order. It will be carried out properly, said the hero of this episode, letting a man's tears run down his cheeks. No one could hesitate. Martin and everyone else went down to the floor below, and the wounded hero rushed to the monsters. Today only one soldier will die. The warrior we deserve will die the death of a hero. He will be remembered for a long time. After a lot of screaming, he attracted the attention of many zombies falling into the epicenter of all the monsters in the area. This time the zombies will not remain hungry. Everyone will be fed with the help of Private Soldier Luke. But he did not surrender to the bloodthirsty dead without a fight. Everyone would get their bullet. Each shot reflected his desperation, which was overshadowed by the pride that he would die protecting his comrades. But the cartridges in the magazine do not last forever. So in any case he will not be able to always defend himself and it won't be given to them as easily as they think. Luke is very glad that he will die, taking so many monsters with him to the grave. Bang! A powerful explosion thundered through all the streets, which will destroy all monsters. In honor of such a hero, you can hold a minute of silence. The captain realized that they should not dwell on his death, just as something like this should not happen again. Martin also felt something strange in his chest, realizing that tears and blood were too realistic for an ordinary game somehow harsh. The captain contacted headquarters in the supermarket. His comrades there claimed that they had no reserves left for reinforcements. Brother Zombie noticed the main one had a nervous breakdown, as he, screaming loudly, reported that they had not yet reached the hospital, and he had already lost a couple of his people. They could not be saved and there would be no one at headquarters to blame him for the failure of the mission. Suddenly, the NPC shouted to the captain that there was an incredible danger near the hospital. As soon as they looked outside, their faces began to depict genuine fear. One shouted in horror that they were unlikely to be able to defeat the creature, and Martin was already thinking. This was the first time he had seen something like this. The monster was from a special race and also improved. A huge trail from the monster came from the hospital. It was from there that it got out. The guys have no idea what to do with it, since ordinary bullets will not cause any damage to it. Cole returned to the game. 
arriving at just the right moment when everyone needed help. The hero immediately noticed him and thought that the game had a special mechanism to protect real players. He asked to look at the current number one danger that was preventing them from getting into the hospital. His eyes popped out of his sockets in horror. As soon as he came into play, he was greeted by a boss, and such a big one at that. They will not be able to call for help, since the zombies in the city have gone on a rampage, so they must rely only on themselves. One of the soldiers suggested that the captains go around the giant and make a circle to enter and exit the rear exits of the hospital. You won't be able to get around calmly, since all the back exits are surrounded by a crowd of zombies. No one wants to be trapped, and it might also rain and that'll be the end of them. Cole used his intuition to identify the monster's weak points. They could break his legs, which were already well damaged. Martin was encouraged by the coward's skills, as they could work well with the zombie captain's skills. First of all, he will have to kill the main ability of the bone eater on the street. The captain proposed a vote in which they would have to choose whether to bypass or go straight to the big guy. When the hero handed over a piece of paper with the killing of the giant, everyone agreed with him, since it would be much easier to kill and get to the hospital more quickly. The commander said that this was their choice. The main thing is that no one regrets it later. After all this, the order followed to check all your weapons and move out to kill the monster. From constant difficult battles, the student's neck is already stiff and incredibly tired. It was then that he was struck by lightning, an incredibly terrible thirst for death pierced his heart. This monster went crazy, clearly he noticed them and decided to attack with the nearest car. But no one could even imagine that a large car took off into the air with one wave of the hand of a special zombie. Bro Cole shouted to everyone, they had been spotted, they needed to hide and the captain ordered them to rise to a hill and shoot at the limbs. The clash was very close. This attack could be fatal for the entire squad. Our sniper was terribly scared by how strong the monster had to throw cars such a distance. He asked Martin if he had a weapon, realizing that he did not have anything. But he did not receive an answer. As soon as he turned around, he saw that his friend was not nearby. How he was going to defeat the monster. In the body armor, Kolu saw a note from a friend which definitely meant something reckless. The note said how he wanted to hit him on the head, so they could definitely defeat him. The coward noticed how the hero ran towards the giant zombie. He was definitely crazy, Cole thought. In close combat, he will try to immobilize the target so that Cole can deliver the final attack to the monster's head. But as soon as one looked at its characteristics, Martin froze in place. The strength was equal to 300, although the hero has 20 times less. There is not even a smell of victory here, but his agility is equal to one, so such a big guy will not be able to catch up with him. The attack took place on the road, which left a gigantic dent, and the zombie brother couldn't give a damn. This time he decided to give the giant the death that fate had in store for him. But it's not so simple, the knife went deep under the skin, but did not cause any damage to him. As soon as he felt that hot lead was rushing straight towards him, someone was firing from the direction of the buildings. He couldn't believe that they also decided to shoot at him, which was greatly disturbing him. In addition to the monster, the squad decided to kill Martin as well. Such attacks are of no use. The trouble is, this fat man understands that he needs to protect his head first. He has a sense of self-defense. But he didn't dodge the shots for long, when suddenly he was hit by Cole's powerful bullet, which pierced the monster's arm. In his head, Martin praised his shot, as it was quite good. Something struck him deeply, to the very heart, he had never even imagined something like this. The sniper rifle shot penetrated his arm and weakened his strength, but did not cause significant damage. Only the giant's endurance was again many times greater than his brother's. He still had a lot of energy. The blow hit him hard, it hurt him very much, even unbearably. He understands that he will not be able to cope with such power. He will have to use the abilities of the bone eater. Our sniper noticed that the giant had captured large stones and was preparing for a new attack. The situation has changed. The big guy has become more aggressive. You need to be careful. A pile of stones flew towards the military, who did not expect such an attack. All the cobblestones flew into the bullseye and caused enormous damage to the buildings. The captain asked to report on how things were with the first and second groups, whether everything was fine with them. They replied that there were no losses so far, the first group was fine, the second was changing position, everything was fine. Martin understands that a few more similar attacks and there will be nothing left of the squad. 
he needs to attract attention to himself. With the help of the zombie captain's skills, he decided to take control of it. After using the low-level bottomless throat skill to awaken hunger in the giant, due to his size, the abilities worked with difficulty. He once again decided to use hunger, but the monster did not succumb so easily, and the student's stamina was already at its limit. The captain's aura was effectively completely destroyed by the big man, who was very angry. He did not hesitate and sent a nearby car flying towards Martin. His stamina was running out, but the hero decided to use the Bone Eater skill. The next attack with a knife should cause gigantic damage to the monster. The bony man's spikes pumped so much energy into the blade that it became covered in a terrible aura. The power inspired hope of victory. He had never done anything like this before but still his hand was cut off with bones. The bone eater may be deadly, but he will still have to rely on Cole's sniper. The captain ordered everyone to confuse the monster with their concentrated attack. They agreed with his decision and began to attack with all the fighting abilities they had. The hero told him directly to grab him quickly so that he would kill him already. He, of course, fell for his trick. Now he is trapped and will very soon lose his head. Martin let Cole know that now was the time to take the final shot to the head. The sniper again used his intuition to understand what Martin wanted to tell him. He understood everything correctly, since he deliberately went into trouble to give an opportunity for an attack. What a psycho. The shot hit the creature's left eye, blood and brains scattered in different directions, victory was theirs. The giant let his brother go, and everyone could rejoice that they remained okay and alive after such an enemy. The big man fell to the ground with a crash. Clouds of dust flew into the air, and a crater appeared under the body. His whole body was tired. Just recently the younger zombies brought just as much difficulty in battle. Now he was supposed to become the ruler, but there is no system prompt. This can't be the case. Is the monster still alive? Is a shot to the head not fatal? By that time, a detachment had arrived and pointed their weapons at Martin, as they wanted to find out the reason for such force. He wanted to find out where an ordinary person got such power and what kind of creature he was. This is because previously his abilities were not human-like. But this is not so important, since a new danger has appeared from the big man's head. The student tried to explain to them that behind them there was not a corpse, but a living creature that was ready to kill them. The commander told him that if he did not tell anything, they would not be able to feel calm in his presence. This time he also decided to take off his mask but they asked him not to approach. When suddenly the same creature appeared next to him, laughing loudly and saying that no one would know. After the words of the shadow, the fat man came to life. People were scared to death, and the hero had no idea what was happening. Hundreds of overgrown spiders climbed out of the giant, walked towards the squad and were aggressive. This horror was reminiscent of nightmares in his dreams. He has no idea how to deal with it. Panic gripped the military, they did not know how to fight such a crowd. The spiders climbed in and began to eat one after another, leaving them no chance of survival. He tried with all his might to justify his escape, since with his current stamina he cannot even protect himself. The sniper did not understand what he should do here with so many enemies. What even happened here? Having discovered their characteristics, the hero realized that these spiders had a symbiosis with that corpse. Individually they were very weak but in a pack their danger was too great. He thought that there would be an ordinary battle with a big guy, but there was a whole symbiosis here. Perhaps the giant was only a puppet, and mutant spiders, which have their own characteristics, unlike zombies, controlled him. There is clearly a main larva here that controls everyone. If it is not killed, the beast will be immortal. But what kind of noise was heard from there? They began to climb into the body again since the danger had gone and there was no one to defend against. There's still no time to count the crows. Fortunately, Cole managed to cover his comrade. The sniper asked him to report on the situation from below. He wrote that they should take shelter from the rain. He explained to him that the big guy is not in charge, the spiders are the ruler. They have a symbiosis and when threatened they come out to protect the corpse. Coward could not understand what to do, since they no longer had NPCs. Then a plan with those grenades matured in Martin's head. He decided to inform his last comrade about him, since it was from him that he would need his help. 